Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can get access to thousands of apps for your Arch Linux installation with Yay, the Arch user repository helper, how to make your installation more stable with CRAM, and how to create snapshot backups on the fly with Timeshift, and how to speed up the start of often used applications with preload. Some applications require more than one command. That's why I decided again, similar to my personal Arch Linux installation script, to put all the required commands into separate bash scripts, which makes the installation extremely fast and comfortable for me. You can download all my scripts, as always, on my GitLab and adapt the scripts to your needs or just enter the commands after each other. Link to GitLab in the description below. Let's jump in. If you have followed my script-based installation video, all the necessary installation files should be also already available in your home directory. For me, that's the case. I see here four additional installation files, 3A, 4 CRAM, 5 Timeshift, and 6 Preload. This is exactly what we want to install today. Let's start with Yay. Let me open that installation file. Yay is a command line AUR helper um, that simplifies the process of installing, building, and managing all the packages that you can download from the Arch user repository. It's a command line interface. It automates the process of searching for, downloading, and installing packages from the AUR. And it also supports all installations from the official Arch Linux repository. That means from if, you, if this is installed, you can install all packages with one command with yay. Okay, the three steps to install yay you see at the bottom of the file. The first part is to confirm the installation and then uh, this script will clone the yay git repository and Build the package. Let's do this. I clear the terminal and I start dot slash three yay dot sh. Yes, I want to install. The files will be downloaded from the Git repository. I need to enter the root password and confirm the installation. Just takes a few seconds. Now the compilation process has started and yay is installed. Let's give it a try. I enter yay and I can check with just by entering yay if my system is up to date, including the main repository installations and the Arch user repository. If you want to install a package with yay, you can enter yay dash capital S Chromium, for example. Okay, this is yay. Let's jump to the next script. And the next script will install CRAM. What is CRAM? CRAM is a Linux application that enables the computer's RAM to be used as a form of a virtual memory. It works by compressing data stored in RAM and then swapping it out to the disk when necessary. This allows the computer to use more RAM for complicated, for heavy applications uh, than it physically can. And with that, you can improve the performance of these applications. You see here, the installation of CRAM is a bit more complicated. It requires more commands. That's why putting everything in a script is super helpful. Yeah, it saves a lot of time and you can just start the installation and the rest is then done automatically. Give it a try. I clear again the terminal and I start the script dot slash for zero. Yes, I want to proceed and that's already it, yeah? I think 10 commands have been now executed. For me, it's just 
done in seconds without typing anything anymore. After rebooting the system, I can also show you how to see if it's working. The next one is a nice one. Yeah, it's time shift. Let's open the script. Let's scroll down a bit in script. This time it's just one application that needs to be installed. It's time shift and I'm using yay that I have just installed. But what is time shift? With time shift, you can take a point in time copy of the system, including system files, user data, configuration files and applications. This allows users to easily restore their system to the state it was in the time the snapshot was taken in the event of a system failure or data corruption. This is one of my favorite tools. Honestly, I'm always on the safe side. I can really try things out and if something does not work, I can just roll back. Yeah, let's install it. I clear the terminal and I start dot slash five time shift dot sh. Yes, I want to install. The installation has started. The required dependencies will be downloaded now automatically. Yeah, and building the packages and compiling the application also starts automatically. Takes some seconds. And the installation is done. Okay, are you ready to create your first snapshot? To make this easy, I have already created a script for doing that. It's also available after using my installation script in your home directory. Let's open it. It's called snapshot.sh um, and it asks for a name for a snapshot. Then create this snapshot with the command time shift. It lists then all available snapshots and the nice thing also configure the group bootloader automatically. And then you can, in case of an issue, boot up with grub to that snapshot directly. I clear the terminal and I start dot slash snapshot. Name of the snapshot is initial installation. And it's done. Snapshot is created successfully. We will boot up the system in second and then we can see if everything works fine. Before we reboot, I want to install the last package that I usually uh, install on a base system and it's preload. Preload can be installed with the script six preload. And also here is just one command that will be used uh, to install preload. It's yay dash s preload. Preload is a Linux application that is used to improve system performance by preloading frequently used applications and libraries into the memory. This reduces the amount of time it takes for those applications and libraries to load when they are needed. Preload works by monitoring user activity and then preloading applications and libraries into the memory before they are needed. Nice script, nice application that will speed up your system significantly. Yeah, let's install it. Dot slash six preload. Yes, I want to install it. It's done. Preload has been installed successfully. Okay, what about rebooting the system? And a reboot. And let's see if everything works fine. First thing that we should see is the updated Grub bootloader. Yeah, and here it is. Here is a new Grub bootloader entry called Arch Linux Snapshots. When I open that, I can start the system with that initial installation snapshot. Very nice, it works. 
but I boot into the original system. I can already log in it's super fast. And let me see if the CRAM is also working fine. Yes, you see here the swap entry. And that indicates me that also CRAM is installed successfully. LSB, LK, you see here the CRAM partition is now available. The CRAM drive, everything seems to work fine. And that's it for today. This is how I install the most important packages after the base installation to improve my system, to speed up my system, and of course to restore my system in case of any issue. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching.